Hey, welcome back to Help of Christians. I'm Antoinette. Let's talk about the trucker convoy. God has been speaking a lot about a great exodus for his people. He's been speaking about wickedness uh, being exposed and being squashed, I guess, for a time period. And we are seeing a lot of pushback from the people, right? We the people right now, especially um, in Canada, we've seen it all over kind of around the world. If you're looking for it, the news media is not going to put it out there. They don't want us to be a part of it. They don't want to show us all coming together. So you really have to be looking out on social media platforms for citizen journalists to just be posting what is going on in the areas they're in. Um, I know around Europe, there's been lots of different protests and uprisings about different mandates and lockdowns and stuff for over a year. Uh, and you just never see it on the mainstream news. So you have to be out there looking for it. Um, but thanks be to God, he is everywhere. And he is speaking to a lot of prophets about what we're seeing. So if you don't really know what I'm talking about, about the great exodus, put it in the comments below and I'll do a video a little bit more in depth about that. But basically, God has been saying we have been enslaved as a society, as humanity in this time right now, greater than the time of the Israelites in Egypt. And the thing is, we have been blinded by it. We had, were under a spell. We didn't even realize that we have been enslaved. We have been stuck, you know, to the nine to five, chained to the desk, go home, have dinner with the family, go to bed and wake up and get on the hamster wheel all over again. And that's not what God wants for us. He has so much more for us. And now we are finally breaking down those, breaking the chains, breaking down those walls and God's delivering us from that enslavement that we didn't even realize we were in. Um, so we can definitely talk about that in a video in more depth if you'd like. Um, otherwise, I'm going to keep moving, just assuming that you already kind of know what I mean by that. Hi, buddy. Um, so we have, um, I have counted at least 11 different prophets that have spoken prophetically, have had dreams or specific prophetic words about the trucker convoy. The trucker convoy. Jesus, I trust in you about the trucker convoy in Canada and other places around the world that people are rising up and um, you know finally putting their foot down and saying we're not gonna hand we're not gonna be locked down anymore we're not gonna be enslaved anymore so this is just the beginning um, but this is kind of what we've been talking about that as we move forward and we break these chains off of us those that have had us enslaved, are going to start to fight back. So as as evil tries to hold us down, God's mercy will be greater. So we have that promise. So I think it's kind of interesting um, that a lot of the Catholic seers have not really had this theme in their messages from heaven about a great exodus, about um, evil being, you know, basically cleaned up for this time being. Um, but, dun dun dun, Gisela Cardia, February 3rd, 2022, get, got a message from Our Lady, and in that message, it's very short, but um, I'm just going to read a little bit because I don't want to keep you too long, but she says, My children, the time is over for the wicked, and mercy will be infinite for the righteous. So, again, this doesn't mean time is over completely for the wicked, but it does mean that, that that cleanup that God has been telling a lot of different prophets is happening. So, that is just uh, Our Lady to Gisela Cardia. The time is over for the wicked. I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, so another um, Catholic seer, Gianna Talone. Um, Our Lady of Emmitsburg, Maryland, she says on February 4th, uh, just the, uh, the next day from Gisela Cardi, um, Our Lady says, I know there are many people all over the world who are wondering and preparing for the worst of events to unfold. Many are frightened and wondering what to do or how to prepare for the future. 
Remember, there are many mystics who have outlined necessities if anything is to unfold soon. However, no one knows the exact date or time. Only God the Father knows. People have free will, and if they see there is injustice or communism or socialism rising where their freedom would be restricted, they may refuse and fight back. Satan would like all people of the world and universe to cease to exist in a world of God's love and bow to him instead. It may seem that evil is overpowering the world, but in the end, my immaculate heart will triumph and my son, our savior Jesus, will reign forever. And then that message goes on a little bit, but I will put those two messages in the comments for you to read in their entirety. But we are seeing that Our Lady is saying, Jesus, uh, I trust in you. We may have a righteous revolt, right? A righteous fighting back of these evil people in power that are trying to enslave us. Hank Kuhneman is one of those 11 prophets that I said in just the last week. I've seen 11 come out with um, their dreams or their um, prophetic words that, you know, some of them were actually a few years old, but they're making sense now, right? Because God gives us prophecy and dream and it doesn't happen overnight. So some are new and some are old, but I've counted 11 at least in the last week that I've seen that connect beautifully for this convoy. So the one I'm gonna read through right now is some of what Hank Kuhneman got. And he got these um, prophetic messages for, uh, on February 6th, so it was a Sunday, and his church, he had, does two different worship services. So there's like a 9 a.m. one, and then an 11.30 one. So there's a little a lot from the 9 a.m. one, and then a little bit from the 11.30 one, but God will speak to him prophetically right there as he's preaching. So this is what God said through Hank about the convoys. Therefore, watch what is rising among you, United States. For the friends to your north, they arise, they gather, they see a convoy, but there shall be a standstill that shall bring a standoff that shall liberate a nation. I speak and I say to you, O Canada, this standstill and standoff shall release the future of your nation and your leaders. But America, you shall follow, for there shall be a gathering among trucks, among vehicles, campers. There shall be a great gathering of crowds throughout your cities, United States, and it shall form a unity that shall break the division that the enemy thought that he could make you the divided states. For I say, you are the United States of America, therefore pay attention. I am the God that changes names, and I am the one that said to Abram, you are Abraham. I spoke and I said to Saul of Tarsus, you are Paul. And so I speak to this nation and I say, you are united, you are free. Therefore, watch your states very soon. So then in the 1130 service, Hank got a little bit more of that prophecy. And he spoke a lot about Australia also having an uprising, a, a righteous uprising, right? A coming out as a united people against evil that is trying to enslave us. Part of that, he said, God said through Hank, and those who cooperated shall be like Nebuchadnezzar, where they will be seen in the craziness and the foolishness of their deeds as he who ate grass. So that is a theme that God has repeated through other prophets too, that some of these evil people are going to start to lose their minds like Nebuchadnezzar. They're going to say things on TV that are either um, just way out of you know, left fields and not make sense where you will see they're like, you know, this person's a world leader. This doesn't make sense. Or God also said it's going to be like truth serum where they're going to actually come out and tell the truth about things that they've been lying to us about. So, <laughs> so, um, that is again from Hank Kuhneman and I will put the videos to those services in the description box if you want to see them yourself and discern them yourself which you should always discern all of these things you now if you're watching um 
the actual citizen journalists and the people that have orchestrated these convoys reporting. They are saying this is peaceful, um, even if they have people coming to arrest them, which you know the government's already talking about getting large amounts of police from all over the country to come in and arrest these people. They said they're not going to fight back. This is nothing violent. This is just standing up for our freedoms in a righteous way. So definitely don't listen to the lying media. If they tell you that these people are, you know, violent in any way, or maybe there's one or two lone wolves, that is not what this movement is about. This is absolutely supposed to be peaceful, but, you know, it's time to take a stand. And God has been saying that for a little while now. And so now we're seeing that. Yes. Now we are seeing that God is... Um, you know, what God has prophesied is coming to fruition. Okay, so those 11 prophets, Kat Kerr, Mike Thompson, Julie Green, Veronica West, Hank Kuhneman, Barry Wunsch, Dr. Jolynn Whitaker, Robin Bullock, Luke Harding, Wanda Alger, and Amanda Grace. So that's just, you know, the ones that I came across, like I said, just in the last week. Um, and some of them were, their memory was jogged of dreams that they've had in the last few years or some prophetic words that now they're seeing why God was giving them, you know, a dream about trucks, <laughs> you know, like a big 18 wheelers. Now it all makes sense. So that's just amazing to see. Um, of course, we should be in prayer because God obviously is showing us that this is what we need to do to stand up. He's speaking it in many different ways. Um, so we need to be in prayer for all those that are participating in these convoys, in the protest, and ask God for their protection, um, help with provisions, pray for their provisions. So pray now for Canada. America is supposedly uh, already has this convoy for America from California to DC organize. Um, they're trying to keep things very quiet right now from what I understand. So you'll have to just search on social media. I will try and put things in my Telegram page. If you don't follow me on Telegram, I'm just trying to put some information on there to keep everybody um, in the loop and stuff. Um, and that's just a good place for us to all come together. So I will put a, uh, a link to that channel in the description box as well for you. Um, and then also be praying for Australia because it sounds like they're about to rise up too. So God bless you all. Thanks for checking this out. Share this so others have an idea of what God is saying about the convoys. And God bless you all.